chance to be rude to Hey you. kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Omaha, here we are, 10 minutes and 30 sec seconds away from Early Access Hogwarts Legacy. I'm pretty, pretty pumped for this game. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff for us to do, a giant world for us to explore, uh, another, another grueling process of getting a platinum trophy, probably. We'll see. Hopefully they're not that bad. But uh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Ten minutes left. I'm really excited.
It's crazy how much you can hear in my house on this mic. Hey, this is time. Hello, Vox. P1 for you. I'm so excited for this. Menu reader. Off. Press L2 button to toggle. Accessibility. Yeah, we don't need a menu reader. No camera shake. What is all this stuff? Continue. Now we go for performance. Right, we accept. Um, we're going to skip that for now. Claim, 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 claim. I will say I, I know very little. <laughs> Alright, so I, I kind of like to think keep things a little bright. I don't like it too dark. That looks perfect to me. It's Hogwarts Legacy. 
<sighs> we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Turn begins on the 1st of September. Okay, so we're going to have to wait even longer now. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before es escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Why are you shocked that I'm playing it? Oh, okay, so here we go. Character customization. They have like a lot of presets. I guess we'll start with this one. I'm not like a huge fan of customizing things. I mean, it is cool. You can make your character look however you want. Looks fine to me, I guess. Skin color. We're as white as can be. We don't wear glasses in real life. We're not going to wear glasses in the game. All right, but well, we're 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 doing this right now. No high on life. All right. Let's see. So this is our hair choices. I don't see a mullet. Do not see a mullet. So we're not going to get a mullet. I don't see a mohawk either, which would be my second choice. Um... Uh, no, no cam. Uh, let's not go with the messy do. Let's go with this one, I guess. This is complexions. We're gonna get scars on our face. I mean, we did just get back from uh, platinum the uh, Ragnarok. <laughs> Go for clear, no freckles. All right, we'll go for that. You can change the color. There is a lot of choices. I need the goat look. They don't have it. We looked for the mullet. They don't even have my eye color in here.
Jesus. I shouldn't have messed with anything. I should have just let it go. So I would have selected the first choice. I guess this one's close enough. Alright. What's this? Oh, we already know we're going to play on hard. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Okay. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get up. It was wonderful. I am indeed a student. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. <laughs> oh, man. It, uh, that, I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Alright, I guess we'll go with that one. Alright, so first name will be... Man. Let's see. Look at our name. Yeah, that's the deepest we can go. We are a young one. Um... For a moment, for the last name. Well, I guess we're going to be a wizard. I, I definitely wasn't one of those 10 year olds, that's for sure. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. We're going to be an evil wizard, just so everybody knows. just have to be. Our house is going to be Slytherin, and we're going to be an evil lizard. traveling companion a new student new how dope would yes, it be if he said I'm John starting Moore. school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late 
Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? No, like a hundred years before everything. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. <laughs> right? Maybe it's his great great uncle. Merlin's beard. How did you. Wait! We do. There we go. Exactly. Give me your hand. It is this squirrel. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Press down to heal. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Well, he's a slow walker. <laughs> there you go, Sparrow. Oh, man. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. 
This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got Circles the key well. brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. <laughs> what really matters is uh, the one who wields it. I love that sparrow. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. So R2 just a cast. Excellent. Your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative target and settings. All right, we're just gonna play the game how they made it. <laughs> Should teach the fig how to roll. Than I'd expected. Look at the water. Water looks really good. Ah, so we can break pots. It would be a bad game if we couldn't break Your pots, I think. improving with every car. Thank you, sir. Chill out, dude. There might be something over here. Ah, see? See, you missed the chest. You missed the chest, not us. I'm ready to take this guy out. Let's go. Somebody has been playing too many Lego games. Almost there. Why would someone? 
someone who built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That fork key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Anything that seems out of place. The map shows your surroundings with an arrow in the middle and an icon is your current objective. It's up to toggle quest objective details. Okay, we figured that part out already. Professor, it's a mural of some right? kind. Right? Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Stop breaking the pots. We need an axe. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! The pot How toy. Odd. I like it. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Sick. That was a cool transition. Hi, wake up. Hello. <clears throat> well done, Sparrow. A moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, no way <we're> here. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. White's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. It was a very good magic spell name, too. Uh, keep your hands inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? 
They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. <laughs> the Italian job. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Guard's gonna die, I think. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. So... Input prompted to accelerate your wand's motion. Okay. I am not good at this. Closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, 
then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. Where's this is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Revelio. See something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Rebellion. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it right. suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. You've acquired the Wand Lightning Charm Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. R2. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? I guess the wisps of magic lights. seem to be leading me somewhere. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. 
Lumos. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stunning enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Okay. Lumos. We're going to die in the tutorial. Lumos. Oh no. See, it looked like something was over there, but I guess not. This is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. 
Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. We're going to kill him. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Well, we gotta save Dubby's uncle. What are we I doing? I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? We're I'm to not kill him. giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Okay. We're not gonna get bested by a little goblin, are we? Summon things. That'll be pretty dope. I did not do a good job of looking things up for this. Oh. And it's night time. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, so we're just outside of Hogwarts. The game transitions have been excellent.
good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Okay. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. No. Uh, I kind of want to do them both. We'll go with the... F I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Dude, are they gonna choose this at random for us? Uh, I'll say dare. Sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. So they chose Gryffindor for us, but... I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. First trophy. You belong in Slytherin! And one more thing. 
Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Enough! But this guy it's changed. not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. It's Mrs. Potts. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. You did a good job for a game that customizes facial features to... Well done. Now, go Express on in and the get expressions. some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh, that's a little glitchy. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Welcome to Hogwarts. Okay, we can sprint. And we can blow everything up. Revelio. Anything to reveal? This is gear six. Can we go in there? Yes, we can. And there's a chest. Level one lock. Are we moving with steel? Was there a chest in here that we missed? Okay, we could just eat the apple, that's cool. Nothing. So that's where we're supposed to go. Surprise, these ones aren't numbered. Oh, they are. There it is, too. I'm scrub. Something there too. Revelio. Hey, that's where we're supposed to go. Let's go the complete opposite way. Hey, you need to watch where you're walking. 
I ain't gonna mess around with you. It's just another way. So that's where all the students are. Seems that's off limits to me. Wow. Look at that. Just eat a pie. Rebellion. Oh, there is a chest behind there. Level three lock. Check that out. It's pouring the tea. Hmm. Level two lock. We need to learn how to unlock things. Is there a door on the other side? Rate we're gonna be a fat lizard. Peanuts. A game of chess. Track too easily. Apologize. Did we go this way? Yeah, we got sent down the steps. I suppose some introductions are in order. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Wonder where they're from. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. Did you see the way they just all stood at the end of the sorting ceremony last night? Can't imagine starting a new school this late. Well, I suppose. No. Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still. Impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Figure all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Okay.
Protego. I wouldn't do that if I were you. More chess. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. <laughs> Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. I think I heard one. I wonder how Dark this could be different from the other houses. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure-blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. I used to ride with my parents. Now I can't remember the last time I sent them an owl. Wonder if they're not. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are.
What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. A resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Go ahead. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see Rebellion. what details the field guide can provide? This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported in the Loch Ness is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Are we going to be killing Nessie? Okay. Visiting level, Spirits of Earth Challenge, increase your level of power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. All right, collecting your first page unlocks a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Each challenge is tier. Special rewards unlocked at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Hogwarts. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. And we're done. We have gear. We don't want glasses. Has no magical properties. Neckwear. Mm. We'll stay without the scarf. It puts you in your jammies. I love it. We have quest items, notes, resources, collectibles. Here's the challenges. So we need to find one more page in Hogwarts to complete that. And here's the map. Oh, man. So here's the world map. We get an idea of how big it is. Right, 
quests. Assignments, relationship sides, and then only one completed so far. Nice. Let's save the game. I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a drink. Hour into it, I gotta say it is a bit slow start, but most games are. Alright, so keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle.
Revelio. I wonder what can we do with this thing? timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Select Grants their case region in this view you can see the flu flame available in that region green flu flames represent flames you have discovered including your own house common room gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flu flames right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest including the astronomy tower library and greenhouses select the library annex region to continue so weasley has unlocked the central hall of flu flames for you use r to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall with square And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. 
You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And Must use the field invaluable guide. to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. This represents main quest. Clean main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments or as quest rewards. Defense Against the Dark Arts, and Charms Class. Alright, so... Let's do this one. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay. Oh, so that will tell us where to go. Oh. 
There it is. This ornament fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens circling the fountain's base. Nice. So we have completed. So we can claim the reward. There's gear appearance reward. Collect eight field pages in Hogwarts. Does it tell us what? Was headwear, right? Go to class. Revelio. That's who with an integrated grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory and the Smarmy. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's un curious unction. A potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. There you go. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Revelio. Please be included. Well, the pictures. Worth a try, right? We'll come back to this. Rebellion. Fountain is the 
Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top, served as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wyvern of Wee. I don't even know if I said that right. Slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Two of eight. Revelio. There's a lot to kind of explore. We haven't really gone anywhere yet. Level one lock. Rebellion. something here. Rebellion. So stained glass windows features Merlin, the four Hogwarts founders. Various other witches and wizards of the ages. Getting sidetracked again. Let's get to class. Hello, kitty. You just pet the cat. Should have been a trophy right there. Pet the kitty. Kitty is our friend. Oh. Revelio. What are you up to now? Sure, I would have had something there. Maybe this painting? Rebellion. Yeah. Painting depicts the young orphan wizard Ilias, who famously served his entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard Razidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. Dragon. Or not dragon. Lumos. Rebellion. Nice. 
Revelio. No, unfortunately we do not. How you doing, Hazy? We're very early in the game. We're still learning, by the way. And apparently this game is emphasizing on the learning aspect. Gotta even go to class. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. There we go. The skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augury and in intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Oh, sounds like we got a sub. Let's see who that was. Ah, that's demon again. Thank you, buddy. On another adventure, are we? Revelio. All right, let's begin this quest. That's awesome, man. Are you talking about the same neon that we were talking about months ago? That same neon? Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great <coughs> raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poachering in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right. Levioso. Let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise is good. Now, well done. Well done. Well done. Very well good. Well done. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This should be easy. 
All right, we won our first Not duel. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Should we lie? No, oh, we want to make friends. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned jeweling organization. I was thinking about it. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. They have a fight club. I knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. I feel like that is a side quest. This is our second trophy. Go to charms class. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. I ain't gonna lie, some some of the voice acting is not that good. Rebellion. Level two lock. I can't wait to learn how to do uh unlock stuff. Jeweled Sebastian, he's strong competition. Well done. Revelio. Nothing in here, I guess. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Let's see if we got something here. Oh yeah. There is a side quest. Talk to... Ooh. 
let's go to the class first and then we'll go and battle because that's always fun oh there is a whatchamacallit here that we don't have it's probably second floor I say second floor, but I don't really know if it's the second floor. Rebellion. There was a spot that threw us down. Oh, it's another kitty. We pet the kitty. My kitty's sleeping. Rebellion. Uh, nothing. Dang. You'd think some of these would have a uh, field guide to it. How about this picture? Rebellion. We're just going to be rebellion away. What was that? Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them simulate before terms begin. I have assigned the task to you. Professor, please see Professor Weasley for details. Love it. Revelio. It's a scarf. <laughs> okay, so it does... It does go black. So we need rank four, I guess? Because we can't wear it. All right, cool, cool. Awesome. Revelio. Revelio.
I was wondering if this was a clue. But it's not. Alright. What are you up to now? You leave me alone. Where are the bathrooms? Another scarf. Can we wear this one? We can. This gives us offense. Whoa! I thought my school bathrooms were bad. As a witch. Oh. How nice to see you, my young friend. Is there an achievement for flushing all the toilets? Hopefully we figure out how to open those soon. Up another flight of steps, I guess. Professor Ronan tends to go on. Revelio. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Yes. I've always said then that the travel werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the, end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, well, All right, I won't so say my goodbyes. I that is a two. Says you're telling I'm lies. not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. If the unicorn was represents oh, two, that would be six. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flat? Which would be. Stop it, Peeves! You'll get us in trouble. Turtle. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough! You're going oh, to I did not mean attention. to pet the kitty. And you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't uh, Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Kitty, you need to get a life. Is that the picture? Nope. Why won't it give me the... It's not even close. Huh. 
Huh. It wouldn't give me the one up there. That would be six. What if it's backwards? So three. That would be. Looks like the owl. What about that? No. And the spider would be too. Found 61 gold pieces just chilling. Remember that in Hogwarts? Oh! Wait a second. So let's change this to the spider. And let's change this to the owl. Confused. The unicorn represents two. Is there a unicorn here? No. Why are we mathing? <laughs> Alright, let's see. What am I looking at here? Here's something that's interesting. If the spider is actually two, three, four, five, six, seven, then that would be nine, but that wouldn't work. That'd be 13. Hmm. does have that one, right?
I wonder if I'm just looking at this all wrong. didn't work. Oh, wait a second here. What if it wasn't a math problem? And it just represents... Nope, that was wrong too. Hmm. What are we looking at? Could possibly be two. Two, he tried that way, and this would be six. Yeah, that wouldn't work, right? Interesting. Not even sure if I'm on the right path with the uh, puzzle. think is odd is on that side it skips everyone so that's there then it would be the owl lizard spider and this one's the opposite so it would start at one and then three no that one goes right to four six so two, four, six, E, and then that's ten.
I wonder if there's another part to this puzzle that I don't know. I'm dreading taking my transfiguration out. I'd rather jinx myself and have to explain reasons for the exception to Gout's law. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new right. student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome <coughs> to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Here. Nice. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Simply cast Accio on one Close of the spheres and the relinquish your charm you. at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Excellent control there. Very good. That's it! Very good! Points to Slytherin! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go!
That is how it's done. Akio. Splendid! He's up. Not exactly your typical movement. Not that I mind. Let us see this. Dang, we tied. Do we get to go again? Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go! There we go. Do not think I will start going easy on you now. Akio! Oh, to the best of us. Failing pretty hard. That is how it's done. Akio. Excellent control there. Well, can't win <laughs> them all. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, 
Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. <laughs> Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until no, next time. I do not. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, a word of you'd be if you would. Work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Revelio. So this is all, but we're going to do the side quests. aren't you? Yes. Well, I Yes, let's go. We have brown leather gloves. Revelio. Anything in here? No. Let 
There you go. Alright, maybe we need the other one to pull. There it is. Let's go. Figure it out. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Hmm. I'm trying to remember where that other one was. I think it's just outside of this. Okay. So if it's the same number pattern. It's annoying as I don't know where this other one is. Alright, where are you at? Okay, cool. Revelio. Do we need a key? challenge done
We're in level three. Revelio. Let's see if we could teleport closer to this. Let's just follow the path then, because it'll unlock more stuff for us. It's loading. Revelio. Revelio. Looking for field guide stuff. Check that out, that's pretty sick. Alright, that one is acquired. I'm not used to loading times. <laughs> Anything here? Nope. Whee! Unless in dire straits, it is probably best to avoid this particular toy as it is allegedly one of Peeves' favorite pranking spots. She said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as we only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Whee! I'll get you for this. Revelio. Is there cake in the bathroom? <laughs> oh nice, we found a healing potion. Oh, there's one right there. This statue depicts the wizard Lachlan the Lanky, a tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself for what precisely no one knows. Nice. Oh, I could wear that new piece of clothing, which is here. So this you can get an upgrade for. The point of my life you did. Someone ought to haunt him for a change. <laughs> we sell a post. This is enter. Wow. Oh. 